Now, and today we learned more about what prosecutors say happened in that studio back in 2002. Ronald Washington and Carl Jordan Jr. are both charged with murder. Prosecutors say that they were driven by greed and revenge when they killed the trailblazing DJ over a drug deal. Eyewitness News reporter Darla Miles with more from Brooklyn. A premeditated ambush. That's how Prosecutors Monday framed the federal murder and narcotics case against Carl Jordan Jr. and Ronald Washington and the shooting death of Jason Mizell, known to the world as rap legend Jam Master J of Run DMC. Good morning. Jordan's mother, his young daughters, and other relatives arriving early at the federal courthouse in downtown Brooklyn in support of the 39-year-old accused shooter. During opening arguments, prosecutors told jurors that he and Washington were proud they took down Jam Master Jay, despite their close friendships. They said in October 2002, Jordan and Washington, angered they'd been cut out of a $200,000 drug deal, recruited a third person to show up at Mizell's recording studio in Jamaica, Queens, get buzzed into the front door, only to go to the back of the studio to open a rear fire escape door and let the two men inside. The fire escape door was, um in the back part of where Jay, because Jay always you know, had his set when he played the video games at. So there was a door right there, right where he had to set up for the studio. In disturbing detail, prosecutors say Jordan was mere inches away when he shot Mizell, that the bullet burned the hair on his head. Washington is accused of ordering the two other people in the room down to the floor with a gun. His attorney quick to call out the glaring holes in the 20 year old cold case, saying investigators have stuck it together with tape and glue. And Jordan's attorney saying in opening arguments, Carl Jordan Jr. did not kill Jason Mizell, and I expect the evidence throughout this trial to prove that. None of the family members here, they all passed away. So we got to get this justice right now.